Harbottle's quaint, comfortable little sandstone houses, sitting neatly astride its single street, give no clue to the antiquity of the place and its hidden history. The Saxons called it Herbottle, meaning the abode of the army. Their stronghold passed into the hands of Norman Baron Robert de Umfreville in 1076, when he was sent by William the Conqueror to keep William's northern kingdom free of enemies and wolves. Over the next two centuries, the castle became so strongly built and heavily defended that in 1296 a Scots army was held at bay outside its walls and were obliged to abandon the siege. After the union of the crowns in 1603, Harbottle Castle was allowed to fall into decay when it was no longer needed for the security of the district. Gradually, stone by stone, the locals put this border bastion to a more peaceful purpose when they demolished it to build their village and a manor house. High on a ridge above the southeastern edge of Harbottle Village is the Drake Stone, really the Drag Stone or Druid Stone, a huge boulder of fell sandstone 27 feet high, torn loose by glaciers during the last ice age and left high and dry when the ice finally melted about 10,000 years ago. The Drake Stone was said to have healing properties and long ago villagers with illnesses were placed on top of the rock in the hope of a cure. Behind the Drake Stone is the place where hundreds of years ago Workmen chiselled out these large circles of fell sandstone and dragged them away on horse-drawn sledges to make mill wheels for grinding grain. If you listen hard enough, you can just about hear the echo of the foul oath uttered by the workman who, after days of working on this millstone, broke it in half with the last blow of his hammer and chisel. Harbottle Lough is a meltwater lake that was formed when water from melting glaciers was trapped in a shallow depression. Originally much bigger than today, it's gradually silting up at both ends. The Drake Stone is just a fragment of the wide arc of fell sandstone that forms the Harbottle and Simonside Hills, and which guides the River Coquet at the start of its sparkling journey from the Cheviot Hills through Rothbury to the sea.